In this video, I will be preparing Windows installation USB drive and also install.vim for my future Windows image modification videos. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this video. First, I will be preparing the Windows 11 installation USB drive. Here you can see all the steps that I will be performing. And after that, I will be preparing the install.wim file that I will be using in the future videos for the Windows image modifications. And the reason for this video is that I want for people to know my starting point if they will try to replicate the modifications that I will be making in the future. Anyways, I will begin this video by creating Windows 11 installation USB drive. And for that, I will use the link that I have here that brings me to the Microsoft Windows 11 download page. And here we can see create Windows 11 installation media. Then I will click on download now and the download for the tool will start. After that, I will go to my downloads folder. And as you can see, I already have the tool in here. And now I will execute the media creation tool. And here I will click on accept. And here you need to make sure to uncheck use recommended options for this PC. And then I will click next. Here I will select USB flash drive, click next. And here I will select the USB drive that I will be using for Windows installation. In this case, it will be my E drive. So I will select it and click next once again. And this will erase all the information on that USB drive and create the Windows 11 installation media. Now we need to wait a bit. And that's it. The USB drive is ready. So I will click finish and wait a bit more. And it seems that it's done. And I will be modifying the USB drive a bit. But before that, I want to download the ISO image from the same web page. So let's go back in there and let's click on download now in here. Uh, first, we need to select the edition that we want to download. And this is only a single selection. Let's click on download now once again. Here we need to select uh, our language. In this case, I will just use English United States and confirm. Wait a bit more. And here we need to click on 64-bit download. And this should start the download for us. Now let's wait a bit for it to finish. And the download is done. So now I have Windows USB drive and also Windows 11 ISO image. I don't need the media creation tool, so I will remove it from my downloads folder. And next I will be making a few changes to the USB drive because now it's only the default Windows installation. And first I will be adding auto on attend file to this USB drive that will remove all the user interactions from Windows 11 installation. I will be using auto on attend file that I have here in the GitHub page. And as you can see in here, I have two auto on attend files. The one that I will be using in my future videos and in this video is the auto on attend.xml. And this one will remove all the user interactions from the Windows installation. That means that we only need to boot from the USB drive and the installation will happen automatically. And that makes this file very dangerous because if by accident you will boot from the USB drive, it will remove all of your partitions and create new ones. That means that all the data that were on disk will be lost. And this happens a lot. So make sure that you're very careful if you decide to use the same file. And that's why I created another auto on attend file. This one is called save underscore auto on attend. And this will add a single user interaction before doing anything with the partitions. And this means that if by accident you will boot the USB drive with this auto on attend file, you will have ability to turn off the computer without messing up your partitions. And if you will decide to use this file, make sure that you remove the save underscore from the file name. Otherwise, it will not work for you. Anyways, now I will click on the file that I will be using in my videos. And here we can see all the configurations that are inside of it. So first we have this configuration for Windows installation. After that, you can see that I will be always installing Windows 11 Pro image. So if you want to modify another image or install another image, you need to change the value that is in here. Next, for the language settings, I will always be using English United States. And then I will be creating a local user account named admin. And this will be my local administrator's account. 
and the user will not have a password. Next, we have the UBI settings. So I will be skipping all the user interactions that are in the out of the box experience. And that's basically it. Now to download this file, I will click on the button right here. And then I will go back to my downloads folder. And now I will move the auto attend file from my downloads folder to the USB drive that contains the Windows 11 installation. And we need to have the auto attend file in the root of the USB drive or otherwise it will not work for us. And now I want to show you how this USB drive works when we have the auto attend file inside of it. And to do that, I will go to my VMware workstation where I have prepared this empty virtual machine that is currently in the BIOS settings. Now to start the Windows installation, I only need to connect the USB drive to this virtual machine and then restart it. And because we have the auto attend file inside of the USB drive, the Windows installation should happen without any user interaction. So to connect the USB drive, I will go to VM, removable devices, select the USB drive that I want to connect and then click connect in here. And now we have the USB drive connected to this virtual machine. Next, we need to restart it. So I will right click on the virtual machine, go to power and click restart ghost. This will restart. And now we need to wait and see what's going to happen with Windows installation. And as you can see, after booting the USB drive, the Windows installation executed without any user interaction. Not only that, but we are currently signed into the admin user that we created in here in the auto attend file. And the auto logon was executed because the admin user currently does not have a password. And that's it for demonstrating the auto attend file. Now I will disconnect the USB drive from this virtual machine. And then I will go back to my downloads folder. And in here I will remove the auto attend file because I already have it in the USB drive. And now I will use 7-zip to extract the Windows image ISO. So let's wait for that. And then let's go inside of this folder, sources. And here I'm looking for a file called install.wim. I will right click on it, select cut, go back to my downloads folder and insert the install.wim file in here. I will also select the folder that I just created and also the ISO image and remove them from my downloads folder. And the last thing that I will be doing is going back to the USB drive sources folder. And in here, once again, we are looking for install, but in this case, .esd file and I will remove this file from the USB drive. And now after removing the install.esd file, this USB drive is unable to install Windows anymore. And the reason for that is that in the future videos, I will be modifying this install.wim file and then placing it here in the USB drive so I can show you the changes that we will be making in those videos. And currently I can't even copy this file to the USB drive because the file size is too big for the file system on the USB drive. But I will be fixing that in the future videos. And that's basically it for this one. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.